Hello, welcome to the Mediocre Takes podcast, the podcast where we talk about our mediocre takes on the shows and movies we watch. I'm Marco and I'm here with my co-host Mel. How are you doing, Mel? I feel okay. Just okay. I just want to say we recently hit 400 plays. Oh shit. Oh, I was thinking for 500 we can talk about Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Ooh, oh yeah, that's a good celebration. And then when we get to 1000, we can talk about the TV show. Ooh, that's gonna be a lot. <laughs> yeah. If you want to see us talk about Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, then keep listening and stuff. And download our episode. Today we're going to be talking about Season 2, Episode 2 of Hello, a Boss. So let's just get into it. So we start off this episode with Swole showing Octavia a display of a meteor shower when she was young. Octavia wakes up and is excited for the day of the meteor shower because it's finally come. But because Stolas and Stella are getting a divorce, Stolas says he's going to be busy all day and won't be able to take her anywhere. Octavia gets mad and goes to the imp crew. Luna and Blitz are having a fight. Octavia sneaks into the imp crew's office and steals the grimoire and asks the book to take her to see the stars. She's taken to LA, California. Blitz calls Stolas and tells him what happened. Blitz and crew, including Stolas, go to LA to find Octavia. There's this ongoing bit between Millie and Moxie trying to pay an artist because Moxie wants art. Blitz is mistaken for a celebrity and is taken by a producer. He's taken to perform as an actor for some kind of sitcom and does a terrible job but people start laughing anyways because they have to. Luna finds Octavia's Instagram and follows Octavia using that. Blitz gets a flashback of when he first met Luna and we learn why he adopted her in the first place. Blitz freaks out and murders a bunch of people. Then the place burns down and they go after Luna and Octavia. The reason why they go after Luna is because Stolas and Blitz got split up with Luna. Luna finds Octavia and Octavia is mad because she spent all day looking for the meteor shower and got nothing. Luna helps Octavia see that her dad is still trying. They end up hugging. Stolas and Octavia make up and that's how the episode ends. I loved how as uh, Solus was arguing with Stella over the phone. He was clutching his little imp butler in one hand, and I cannot say this enough times. Luna and Octavia are very different moods that I can relate to all the time. In one of our previous Hell of a Boss episodes, we we covered whichever episode where we're supposed to get like progress in the relationship between Blitz and Moxie, and we talked about how we never really saw that progress stay in later episodes. We get another example of no progress when Blitz tells Moxie see he's fat after they walk out of the portal and that's an issue i'll talk about later i think it was really cute that <laughs> blitz was mistaken as his voice actor brandon rogers who's like what was his name like Bra- i don't know they just changed his last name who's like a famous actor in this universe i really like that little easter egg one thing that i thought was really strange and confusing was the fact that they introduced the goofy pluto paradox what i mean by that is why was a sentient competent wolf human like werewolf person in a dog pound with regular dogs it doesn't make sense to me in my tiny brain i don't know if you noticed this probably not because it's such a small thing there was a scene where near the end where luna pulled her cigarette out of her mouth (laughs) and then it cuts to another shot where the cigarette is back in her mouth and then she pulls it out again i love that i love that very much i love it when little things like that slip through the cracks and it makes into the final cut of an animation i don't know why but i i know they probably didn't do it on purpose but i actually really like that the animation seemed more solid and consistent than previous scenes Seasons, probably because they had a higher budget, but I really did enjoy that. So I do have one small thing I wish they did this season compared to season one. This isn't a real criticism I had, it's just something I wish they did. I wish they continued with this villain of the week format. Every episode we get a new antagonist and I think that really worked well for Hell of a Boss and I kind of wish they stuck to that. Obviously this isn't a real criticism from me because I feel like they couldn't do that forever. I just wish they did that a little longer. I really like the song Million and Moxie sing, they always have such great singing voices. I just wish it would have been longer. Also, Stolas and Luna have a magical girl type transformation in this episode. Like, when they transform, it's all magical girl-like, and I love it. I wasn't expecting that at all, but it was great. Something that kind of bothers me a little is the fact that Blitz and Stolas both act like everything is fine between them. Like, after everything that happened between them, they're gonna act normal again. At the same time, it makes sense why they would ignore their problems, but I wish this episode was written differently in 
in that sense. Like, why aren't they awkward at all? I really like the beginning scene where Stolas is fighting Stella. I love him for that. Like, when he says your mother is being a real B-I-T-C-H. I just love that. I'm not sure how I feel about the whole Brandon Ragers thing. I kind of liked it, but at the same time, it was a weird choice. But I will admit, it did lead to a great scene where we get to see what happened to Luna. I actually didn't mind that Luna scene. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Speaking of Luna, the whole Luna backstory was completely terrifying and the writers did a good job showing what made Luna the person she is today. It's obvious to me that the place Luna came from was terrible and that's why she struggles to take criticism and why she gets so defensive all the time. Luna and Octavia meeting was great. The meeting was beautiful and I want more of them because they have such a great dynamic. I like how Luna helps Octavia see that her dad is really trying. I didn't mention much criticism before beforehand but I don't know how I feel about this episode. I just think they were doing too much. I think they were getting into too many things at once and it's a 20 minute episode that wasn't enough time for everything they tried to put in here. I really think we should have focused more on Octavia and a little bit more of Luna. I don't know it, it just felt like it was everywhere and it felt like if we focus on something a little bit more than the other then it wouldn't have seemed so frantic to me, I guess. This episode just felt so quick, like so much was happening. And I can't remember if the previous episodes were like this with the pacing and I've just like forgotten. I feel like they could have done something other than the flashback of Blitz finding Luna in a shelter to get him back on track to find Octavia. I understand that like, ooh, flashback, but I feel like they could have put, I feel like they could have put that in another episode with more time to really explore that. And maybe that's what they're going to do in the next episode is sort of explore more of Luna's background. I don't know how I feel about it. Like I said before with the episode with Moxie and Blitz, it seems like the writer are having issues with writing character development and sticking to it especially with characters like Blitz where his personality is so strong and it's so hard to slowly pivot from that but I feel like they're not really trying with the scene we get in the episode in this episode where Blitz calls Moxie fat I feel like we didn't need Blitz to say that especially since they're supposed to like allegedly be nicer to each other. I think it would have made similar sense for Luna to say it instead of Blitz. If they still want Moxie to be the punching bag, that's completely fine. I'm totally okay with that. But they don't have to keep Blitz as the one who's always throwing shit at him. Luna has done the same thing before, so it makes sense for her to continue to say stuff like that. This show is sort of pivoting to a more emotional a more emotional show like we saw in episode one of season two it's a stark contrast from everything we saw in season one so if they're gonna go down this path of more like emotional situations and really delving deeper into these characters they should stick to what they're saying and really develop the characters more instead of just being like oh yeah we had this really emotional scene in this episode anyway back to what we were saying well why are you just throwing that away this could have been like a really cool situation anyway everything just felt very surface level in this episode even though it feels like they're trying to be deeper and more serious to an extent and also <sighs> Moxie and Millie are just so cute. I personally really like this episode compared to the other episodes. Like this was a standout to me mostly because of the Luna and Octavia scene. I just really love that scene and that scene that we see of Luna before she gets adopted. I just really liked this episode overall. Anyways you guys. Anyways you guys. Those are our thoughts on Hello of Boss season 2 episode 2. If you want to send us a voice message on Anchor there's a link in the description below to do that. We also have an Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok that we haven't posted on yet that is at mid takes pod which, which will also be in the description and that's everything so goodbye